Hi everyone, my name is Han Hui Hui and 3H means housing, healthcare and human rights, specifically elderly rights. On 8 August 2024, I was summoned to Singapore Police Station and outside the police station, I filmed a live video saying that public resources should not be used on the 12 years of political persecution against me. They should be used to improve the lives of Singaporeans and protect our future generation instead. Until today, the AGC is still labelling me as the leader of Singaporeans and demanding me to give them $23,000 but there is still a shortfall of about $9,000 which is why I'm making this video to raise awareness on political persecution and how our elderly are suffering in Singapore. According to this article, 15% of Singaporeans in their 60s do not have kids and 20% of Singaporeans in their 50s do not have kids. So who is going to be there taking care of them in their old age when they are unable to work or take care of themselves? It is the children of the Singaporeans who bothered to have kids. So these Singaporeans have 58% in 60 years are not children. And 28% in 50 years are not children. So these people are old, not able to work, not able to take care of themselves. Who is going to take care of them? It's the people who have born in Singapore. 他们的孩子会需要照顾这整群老一代的新加坡人。The reason why Singaporeans are not giving birth is because PAP policies are nothing but a failure, which is why our total fertility rate has gone all the way down to below one right now. In fact, policies such as the baby bonus is a well-known factor. One example is like they give this baby bonus, and then they also have the nine percent GST. Water taxes, road tax, electricity tariff, SNCC increase, and all kinds of things where they take money from the people. After that, will people have money to have kids? No. Therefore, people are saying kids are now a luxury option. Why do people want to have kids when they are struggling with basic necessities? So, why is more Singaporeans in Singapore not want to have children? And Singapore's fertility rate has already dropped to below one. 原因就是因为人民行动党的政策是失败的。他们的政策所谓“你生孩子，我会给你钱”，可是他给你那个钱，他就有九八千的消费税，然后呢，水电费起价，杂费起价，所有可以拿你钱的东西，车费也要起。起了过后，人家还有钱养下一代吗？没有钱养孩子，所以人家讲孩子是什么？孩子是奢侈品。如果自己都养不活了，怎么能去养孩子呢？而这些人选择不生孩子的数据只会越来越多，那么谁需要扛下这些责任呢 ？The root cause of our low fertility rate is because of our very high cost of living. 新加坡人不生育就是因为我们的日常生活消费太高，东西要给的钱越来越多。What should the people have done back then? The people should have changed government policy so that they will be able to set up their family, so that Singapore total fertility rate will go up instead of go down. They should have campaigned against the increase of GST because the government is already collecting a lot of money. So why is there still a need to increase our GST? Leave your comments down below. Remember to follow me, and I'll see you in the next video.